Boatworks today is sponsored by Total Boat and Alexia Yacht Coatings, as well as supported by the generosity from the beautiful folks over on Patreon. Thank you so much. So welcome back to the shop, everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Hope you had an awesome Easter as well. My name is Andy with Boatworks today, and this week I got turned on its head a little bit. Now, I, for the last two or three weeks, you may have noticed that there's yeah, it's kind of the scheduling and, and uh, topics and that kind of thing with the video content here has been a little different. And there is a very good reason for that. And I was hoping that I'd be at the point now on, uh, on, on this week that I could actually you know, kind of throw it out there and, and uh, start talking about it. Unfortunately, I'm about uh, three more days away. Uh, so that'll be coming up for, for next weekend. But uh, let's just say there's going to be a lot of changes coming and they're going to be, I think, very, very good changes. So then what does that mean for this week? Well, I, honestly, I'm going to repurpose a, a video that I put, I think it was last week or the week before. Uh, it was one of these little shorts, these little you know, YouTube experiment things, you know, one minute or less. I n I've never really seen the, the, the point of those. Uh, and well, that, that week's little experiment pretty much confirmed it. Uh, it just didn't get a lot of traction. And kind of honestly, I'm a little bit surprised on that because what I was talking about or covering in that video was one of the most frequently asked questions that I get, which is, you know, when I'm, when I'm wetting out a particular size area, how do I know how much resin I'm going to need for this given area? And honestly, up until that point when I, when I did all that, I didn't know for sure. I mean, most of the time I was just kind of guessing, kind of pour some either poly or epoxy out and say, yep. I think that's going to be pretty close. And sometimes it was. Sometimes I was a little shy. Sometimes I had waste. And you know, so I, I never really knew exactly, okay, how many ounces of polyester resin or how many ounces of epoxy will I need for a given area. So uh, the way that I did this, I thought was going to be pretty straightforward and going to be the easiest for people to kind of take that info and extrapolate it towards their own projects. So what I did is I looked at, to, for wetting out, one square foot of 1708, which is a 12 by 12. And so by that, you know, by those numbers, then you can say, okay, well, it took X amount of, uh, X ounces of resin for this one square foot. Now I'm looking at an area that's, say, 12 square feet. Well, you just take that times the, the ounces of resin, and you've got a really, really close, uh, uh, representation of what kind of material you're, or how much material you're actually going to need. So with that said, let me just roll the video and I'll see you at the end. So in case you didn't catch that, or if you just straight up skipped it, uh, kind of the short story of what, you know how much material it took. Essentially, when you're working with 1708 and polyester resin, it shouldn't make a difference if it's laminating or non-lam or finishing resin with wax. It shouldn't make any difference. But if you're using polyester resin with 1708, I went through 
roughly two ounces of material to wet out, to completely wet out, not overly saturate, but to com completely wet out one square foot of 1708. Now, uh, when it came to the epoxy, that was just under three ounces. And, you know, the, I, I, my best guess as far as the, you know, the reasoning why there would, you would use more epoxy versus poly is that poly just, it's, it's a much thinner viscosity for one. So, I mean, it just soaks into the glass easier. You know? Whereas with epoxy, it's a little bit thicker, and rather than actually absorbing into the glass, I think what it mostly does is just kind of, it coats the glass. And so it's, you're just going to go through more material when you're coating versus absorbing. So that's, that's kind of my, my reasoning behind it, uh, for right or wrong, uh, but it seems to make sense to me. <laughs> So that's what I've got for this week. Kind of a quick one, but as always, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found the information helpful for your own projects coming up. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, next week should be a pretty exciting week. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave those down below. I will do my best to follow up with you. And as always, I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.